Hey guys, I'm not an expert on this, so if you don't have any other choice, you can check and see what I did, but I'm not recommending that you do it, and I am not vouching that anything you do in here will not hurt your GoPro. So I've been making a few videos with the GoPro Hero 4, and I've noticed that in post-editing, I've had to take out a bunch of clicking. It sounds like a helicopter in the background. Um, Um, it's gotten really no annoying, but um, it, it's kind of difficult to get rid of in post as well. So what I've done is I looked and I found that it's actually a hardware problem with the Hero 4 that was um, a lot of people had returned and got tried to get it fixed with GoPro to have them their um, unit replaced. Some people were still getting back Heroes with the exact same problem. Some people were getting it fixed. Um, my problem is, is mine's out of warranty. Um, so I can't send it in. I have didn't even no really notice the problem until recently. And so I had to look for a solution to fix it. And I think I found one. Online there was something about shielding and it could be shielded with copper uh, tape, essentially. So adhesive foil and I didn't find any copper foil but I found I, I had some uh, aluminum um, adhesive foil that I got from Home Depot for a different project.
disconnected a plug on the on the GoPro and it was really hard to get back in. I'll show you pictures of it. Sound test, host shielding, Wi-Fi on. Okay, so I put the aluminum shielding on and it seemed to have worked quite a bit. In fact, it was barely perceptible of the, the helicopter sounds that I had anymore. Um, when I had Wi-Fi on and the aluminum shielding. When I imported the video into Premiere Pro, um, it was definitely amplified a little bit and you could see it on the audio meter that it was still clicking. Um, you could hear it when it was playing in Audio Pro and you could see it on the audio monitor. Um, so I decided to go ahead to go out and buy some, uh, or buy some copper um, this Studio Pro stained glass copper tape. It's a quarter inch wide, so it doesn't cover the whole thing. It needs needed about two and a half of them thick, so it's a little over half an inch thick that it needed to be. So I put the copper on top of the aluminum, kind of overlapped the layers, as you can see in the video. As you can see, the dual shielding, the aluminum and then the copper, worked out quite well. So I'm very pleased with it and um, I hope you guys liked it. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I also have a lot of stuff about travel hacking and how to travel for free. Um, I do it everywhere I go now, so um, check that out. I also have a lot of different drone footage and, and stuff with my car and motorcycles. So give it a check. See if you guys like it. And thanks for watching.